My dear students, I welcome you all in the virtual EVS class. Today we are going to study our lesson number eight, that is blue and grow. In this lesson, we are going to study about different types of roots, functions of roots, roots affected by construction, paving, and plastering, importance of flowers and its parts. plants that have flowers life span of flowers flowering seasons uses of flowers and journey of flower now i request you all to open page number 52 of your evs book to study our lesson number 8 bloom and grow children if you look in your neighborhood you can find different types of trees around you Do you know that as your body is divided into different parts in the same way plant's body is also divided into two parts first is the shoot system and the second is the root system shoot system is the part of the plant that is above the ground it includes the organs such as stem leaves flowers and fruits root system the part of the plant that is under the ground is called the root system root system is responsible for absorbing water and mineral from the soil different types of roots roots are mainly of two types tap root and fibrous root now let's study more about tap root and fibrous root tap root a tap root system has a single main root that grows vertically downwards with many small roots branching out of it some examples of plants that have a tap root include carrot radish beetroot turnip coriander etc fibrous root fibrous roots are made up of roots roughly of the same size the small root grow out in many directions from the base of the stem it is the opposite of a tap root system fibrous roots hold many soil particles together at the surface of the soil this is helpful in preventing or reducing soil erosion grass wheat rice onion maize are some examples of fibrous root system now we are going to study about few special roots aerial roots aerial roots are roots above the ground these roots hang from the branches towards the soil this type of root absorb water directly from the air banyan tree is the example of aerial root storage roots this type of roots store the extra nutrients that a plant makes carrot radish beetroot yam sweet potato are some examples of storage root during shortage of food due to flood or crop failure people eat them as food roots of some plants store water for the plant during the dry summer months for example pumpkin propagative roots propagative roots plants can multiply with the help of their roots these plants produce buds along the roots that grow near the surface of the ground strawberry and cherry plants have such roots breathing roots plants of marshy areas have breathing root in such areas the soil is waterlogged so plants do not get 
sufficient oxygen from the soil. So, portion of the root come out of the soil above water level and they take oxygen from the air. Mangrove trees have such roots. Buttress roots. These roots are large wide roots on all sides of a tall tree. The roots support the plant and allow it to absorb more nutrient. They prevent the tree from falling over. In short, such roots grow out from the tree trunk and help to support the tree. These roots are found in the trees of tropical rainforest. Functions of Roots Roots have different functions. Now we are going to study about few important functions of roots. Fixation Roots hold the plant and bind it firmly to the ground. That is why plants or trees do not get uprooted when there is a strong wind. Roots help the plant to absorb mineral and water from the soil and then they provide it to the plant to prepare food. Many roots store food. This help the plant to survive. We also eat some of these roots. Some roots grow above the ground and provide solid support to the tree. Prevent erosion. Roots prevent soil erosion by binding the soil particles. Soil erosion means children blowing away the top soil by wind or water. And the top soil is fertile layer of the soil. Food in emergency. During the shortage of food, people eat some roots as vegetable. For example, carrot, beetroot, radish, etc. Respiration. In some trees, the roots of the trees grow upward from the soil. These roots have tiny holes in them which help in respiration. Edible roots. We eat edible roots as vegetable, for example, carrot, radish, yam, etc. They store food in the form of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates gives us energy. Roots affected by construction, paving and plastering. The roots of a tree need to spread deep and wide, but due to construction, paving and plastering, they are unable to spread. So these trees fall down easily when a strong wind blows. Parts of a flower Flowers are the most beautiful part of a plant. They are responsible for the birth of young new plant from the old plant. Now let's discuss about the different parts of a flower. A flower has the following parts. Petals, sepal, stamen and carpel. Petals are the colorful parts of a flower that attract bees and butterflies with their bright color. Sepals are green leaf-like structure that protect the flower when it is a bud. Stamen is the male part of a flower. It made up of the anther and the filament. The anther is yellowish sac-like structure that carry pollens. The filament is a thread-like structure which functions by supporting the anther. Carpal. The carpal is the female reproductive part of the flower. It consists of the ovary style stigma. The egg is present in the ovary. At the top of the ovary is a vertical structure called style that supports the stigma. The pistil is the fusion of carpels. 
Plants are categorized into two types, flowering plants and non-flowering plants. Plants that have flowers are known as flowering plants. For example, rose, jasmine, tulip, lotus, etc. Plants that do not produce flowers and seeds are called non-flowering plants. For example, ferns, mushroom, pine, etc. Now, we are going to study about flowers and their lifespan. Annual, biennial and perennial are the category on the basis of which flowers are categorized according to their lifespan. Annual flowers have a lifespan of one year in which they grow to full size, bloom, produce seeds and die. For example, marigold, sunflower, etc. Biennial flowers have a lifespan of two years. They grow to full size in the first year and produce flowers and seeds in the second year. After that, they die. For example, carnation, sweet william, hollyhock, etc. Perennials. Perennials have a lifespan of more than two years and they bloom every year. For example, rose, lily, etc. Flowering seasons. Flowers do not bloom in all seasons. Most of them are season specific though some flowers bloom throughout the year. Flowers that bloom in the spring are sunflower, tulip, daffodil and lily. Flowers that we can see in summer seasons are tuberose, hibiscus, daisy, etc. Flowers that bloom in the autumn season are chrysanthemum, marigold, rose, etc. Some winter flowers are tulip, jasmine and forget-me-not. Who is attracted to flowers? Different insects, bats, birds, etc. visit flower for nectar. Most of them are attracted by the color or smell of the flowers. Some of the special attraction of different flowers we are going to discuss in detail. Carnation, bright red or pink color attract butterflies. The blue and yellow color of flower iris attract bees. Mongolia flower attract beetles because of its strong sweet smell. Flies get attracted towards Rafflesia because it smells like rotten meat. Children, now we are going to discuss about the different uses of flowers. Flowers play an important role in human life. They are used to do decoration and making garlands. Different kinds of perfumes are produced using flowers. Many beauty products are made by using flowers. For example, rose water, jasmine oil, etc. Beside that, flowers have their medicinal importance. A lot of medicines are prepared by using flowers. For example, lotus is used to make medicine which can cure fever. Flowers are also used for making rangoli. The extracts of saffron flowers are used to give flavor to food. Honey is made from the nectar of flowers. Some flowers like cauliflower, drumstick, are eaten as vegetable by us. Flowers are also gifted on special occasions like birthdays, anniversaries, etc. Flowers are offered in temple, churches and placed on graves of loved ones. Sometimes women wear flowers on their hair to enhance their beauty. 
journey of flower from garden to flower cellar flowers are the most beautiful gift given by god they are a beautiful creation of nature they are attractive to look at a florist is a person who sells flowers he or she is an expert in the art of arranging flowers he or she sells various types of flowers some of them are available locally while many of them come from far away places or sometimes even outside of the country flowers add beauty to nature and to our surroundings they make people smile happy hopeful and better they are a source of happiness and beauty one activity is there for you children you have to write the answer of this question in your rough copy the question is how plants protect our environment means what is the importance of plants for our environment just think and write the answer in your rough copy that's all for this lesson children thank you